Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today I'm going to do a video on the Lexus and Toyota vehicle feature that you can actually enable. It's actually to roll down or roll up the windows and some roof. This is a great feature to have in the hot summer day. Before we get started, I don't have to flow in a disclaimer since this is, involves programming the vehicle and it's not one of those features you just press. So use the product with extreme caution, no warranties or guarantees imply or suggested. Changing some program features may risk damaging the vehicle. Possible issues like gas mileage, reliability, performance, and safety may occur if critical settings are changed. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Use any feature in this video at your own risk. Number three, please contact a car dealer or mechanic to help you program any feature if you are not 100% sure as needed. Find the safest way to do this. Okay, I want to start out and mention, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon when you be notified new videos, and I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. Okay, the product feature here is the VPEAK OBD Check BLE Plus. So make sure you get the BLE Plus. So it's the Bluetooth one. And OBD2 Scan Tool. So this is important because there's another similar product that looks very similar but it is not programmable. So make sure you get the one with the BLE Plus. I put a link in the description as well so you can get the right OBD2 scan tool. And this is how it looks like. And OBD2 BLE Plus, Bluetooth 4.0, OBD2 scan scanner for iOS and Android. So definitely you need a smartphone as well to use together and also a connection so you could download the software. So this plugs into the vehicle. There's a cost for this. So you need to get the software, Carista OBD2 app from your app store, no matter Android or iOS. The software costs $39.99. However, there is a one week trial as well too. So to keep that in mind. Then you can start your vehicle. Make sure you turn the vehicle with the run mode on. So make sure you leave the vehicle on. It's very important to leave the vehicle on when you program it so you don't damage anything. Okay, your ignition's on and this thing's plugged in and you start the software. So the first thing it's gonna do is actually scan your vehicle and your settings. So this takes about 10 minutes or so. So be patient. The whole process probably takes you about half an hour at most. And I'm going to skip ahead. I wish you cut out some parts because otherwise it seems like it takes forever for this video. During the programming phase, please make sure you do not turn off your vehicle until everything is completed because we're going to avoid any problems. So the thing we want to go down to is actually window and sunroof. So just select that over there. And the first item, open window and sunroof by way of long press on remote. So that's off right now. And you want to select that one to be on. So just press that on the menu over here and change that to on and hit save. Once it hits save, it's about like 30 seconds or so for it to finish complete saving. So keep in mind that you gotta be really patient with this tool. The next thing we want to change is actually close window and sunroof by turning key in the door lock. So that's the driver's side door, by the way. And you need to turn it to the left and very simple to do and but the thing is this is interactive when you close all the windows and door so some of these features actually on certain manufacturers have a default set and say honda and acura they have this already set already but for toyota and lexus and maybe some other brands and uh, you have to manually set it and notice all these features are not going to be working for your vehicle probably too so just keep that in mind so close window and door sunroof by turning and holding so you just click on that you change it to on then you hit save so you wait about 30 seconds or so for it to save once that's completed pretty much done with the programming but we're going to browse around if you're done you actually hit back and etc right go back to the menu and just disconnect or you could just probably disconnect too but the other settings you actually could do as well too if it's not in your menu or in your information media information display right so that's something that you would be really careful on if you're modifying things that are engine related but minor stuff doors and lights they'll probably be okay 
wouldn't affect a lot of different stuff and a lot of manufacturers actually do have it that is in the menu so i just want to flow that out so if you're interested in a lot of different settings you can stroll through this but i'm not going to touch upon those because this video could be really long okay another thing i would do right now is open all doors and windows so how you do it you select the unlock button so it's unlocking the vehicle and it's going to open all windows and the sunroof at the same time make sure you keep your fingers holding the unlock button until everything's open otherwise you'll stop in the middle unlocking it is just as easy but this one you need to remove the key so you got to take your remote and press the button over here and take the key out and this thing we're doing right now may also work for the, the honda vehicles they also have a feature that you could do the same thing so you turn it to the left hold on that and everything will close back up simple as that so that trick definitely requires programming for it to work the opening feature is probably very important if your car is really hot in the summer hope you like this video i really appreciate thumbs up it helps me a lot and if you have a comment or suggestion you try it on different vehicles please post it below as well too they help others and i see you next time bye